A New Mexico lawmaker wants to overhaul the way New Mexicans vote. He wants the primaries combined into one big primary so that anyone could vote in it. But what could be even more controversial is that it would change who gets onto the November ballot. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe with that story. Madeline. Yeah, Dean, this constitutional amendment would drastically change our electoral system. The move is sponsored by Democrat Representative Antonio Maestas. Right now, to vote in New Mexico's primary election, you have to be either a registered Democrat or Republican, and you can only vote for your own party. Independents can't vote in the primaries at all. This amendment would abolish these restrictions and put every candidate on one big primary ticket. This way, every single voter would get to vote for their candidate of choice in a particular race, and the top two vote getters from that race in June would advance on the November ballot. By that, Maestas means the November ballot wouldn't necessarily have one Democrat and one Republican going head to head in each race. The top two vote getters could be from the same party, and they'd go on the ballot. This part of his idea would apply to all state and congressional races, but not the presidential election. Now, the amendment only needs a simple majority in the House and the Senate, both of which, of course, are controlled by the Democrats. The governor would not be able to veto it. It would then go to the voters next year. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. If voters were to pass this amendment, it would go into effect for the 2020 primaries.